Hey guys, happy Friday. Um, today you'll be doing lesson 8.4 in the packet. So just follow along with me, take notes in your packet. And after you're done, this is actually the last lesson in the chapter. So feel free to turn your packet into the sub and I will get it er graded early next week. After you are done taking notes in your packet, um, please do the homework assignment on Schoology. It's just the normal homework assignment. Just complete it with an eight out of 10 or higher and that will be counted as full credit. Then also don't forget, you do have Khan Academy due tonight. If you haven't done um, the five or eight Khan Academy assignments, depending on whether you're in regular or advanced geometry, um, please complete those by midnight tonight. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so practice 8.4, this is page 711. Um, I already started by writing out the key idea for this chapter. There are actually three key ideas and we're going to write them throughout the notes this time. So just pause this if you need to write down the first key idea. It is the triangle proportionality theorem. And what this states is a parallel divide, divides a triangle proportionally. So what that means is if you have a line um, right here that is actually parallel to this line here. So let's say this is parallel to this, then it divides that triangle proportionally. Um, so that means if this is, let's say two, and this is six, and this is maybe three, this would have to be nine. So notice that two times three is six, three times three is nine. Or if you were to set this up as a proportion two over six would have to equal three over nine like that. So when you have a parallel line um, right here, it divides this proportionally, and that's what we're going to practice in the first set of practice problems. Okay, so you should have this written down in your paper. If not, go ahead and pause the video and write this down, and then we will start with question number one. It says find the length of AB. So identify that segment. It's right here. And again, it shows a parallel line here and here. So therefore, these parallel lines divide it proportionally. So we can set up a, propor a proportion. So x over 3 equals 12 over 4. And then we can solve this using cross multiplication. So x times 4, 4x. Four 3 times 12 is 36. And then divide both sides by 4, and we get x equals 9. So therefore, the length of AB is 9 units. Okay, next one, same idea, parallel line here and here. Um, it wants to know the length of AB right here, so this is our x. So I'll just do 14 over 12 equals x over 18, and then solve. So using cross multiplication, 12x equals 14 times 18 is 252. Divide both sides by 12, and we will get x equals 21. Okay, moving on to the next problem, number three. It says, determine whether KM is parallel to JN. Well, if these are parallel, then there's proportionality here, and then we're, we're just gonna test that. So we'll do eight over five equals 12 over 7.5, and see if these proportions are equal. So in the calculator, I'm gonna do eight divided by five, and 12 divided by 7.5, it equals 1.6 both times. So therefore, yes, KM is parallel to JN um, because of this proportionality. So yes. Okay, number four. Again, same thing, seeing if this is parallel to this. Setting up the proportions. Divide it in the calculator. And I know I'm going a little bit faster than I would normally go in class. If you need to pause this to write stuff down, go ahead. 18 divided by 20. Okay, it comes out to 0.9 both times. So therefore, yes, those lines are parallel because we have the proportionality there. Okay, number five. Again, testing to see if this is parallel to this. So we should be able to set up the proportions. Plugging this in the calculator, 24 divided by 15, 1 1.6, 18 divided by 10. Oh no, it doesn't match. We have 1.8 here. So that means this doesn't have proportionality, so therefore these lines are not parallel. 
no, and that's it. Okay, we're going to actually skip number six. Um, we're also going to skip this bottom section here and then move on to the back. Okay, on the back, we are not going to do these first four problems, so you can maybe just cross those out. Um, but we do have a new key idea here. So this is key idea number two. Um, feel free to pause this right here and jot this down. And let me quickly explain it. It says key idea number two. Here's another theorem. Three parallel lines theorem. If three parallel lines intersect two transversals, they divide the transversal proportionally. So what that looks like is actually these examples here with three parallel lines, two transversals, and we'll try them out in a second. But right now, just pause the video um, and jot that statement down. Okay, um, now that you have it down, let's go ahead and try this out. Okay, so number 15 here. Um, it says that when you have three parallel lines, so these would be the three parallel lines, and then this is, these are the transversals. This would be a transversal, and so would this. Um, it says that these segments are proportional. So this would be proportional to this, in the same ratio that this is proportional to this. And here it's saying what is Vx. So this is going to be our x value, that length there. So we'll set it up like this, 20 over 8 equals 15 over x. And then we can solve for this length right here. 20x equals, and 15 times 8 comes out to 120. Then divide both sides by 20, and x equals 6. So the length right there of vx is 6 units. Okay, and 16, same idea, we'll just do another practice problem. Um, this is a little sideways, the parallel lines are right here, three parallel lines, and then the transversals are actually right here. Okay, so it's asking for the length of SU, so it's this length right here, so this will be X. Okay, so we'll do 8 to 12, 8 over 12 equals 10 over X. And then from here, 8 times x equals 12 times 10, we get 120, and x equals 15. Um, you might be asking, well, could I do just like 8 over 10 equals 12 over x? And yes, actually, you could set it up that way. As long as you're consistent, so if you're doing this part to this part and this part to this part, it will still come out to the same answer. So if I do this, I would get 8x equals 120 again, and it would still solve to 15. So as long as you're consistent, um, you can either do this part over this part in your proportion, or you could do this part to this part and this part to this part. Okay, um, moving on to the next key idea and concept. Here is key idea number three. And I'll just show you the visual down here as well. Triangle angle bisector theorem. If a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into proportional segments. Um, what that looks like is right here. And again, pause the video if you need to, to write this down. And then right here, it shows an angle bisector, it's bisecting that angle, it shows both sides of this line, it's the same angle measure, and this angle bisector bisects it proportionally. So therefore, we can set up the proportion like this, 8 over 4 equals y over 6, and then use cross multiplication to solve. 4 times y, 4y, 8 times 6, 48, then y equals 12. Okay, number 18, same thing. We can do 3 over z equals 4.5 over 1.5 to solve. Cross multiply. 3 times 1.5 is actually 4.5. Hold on one second, somebody's knocking at the door. 
Okay, I'm back. Okay, so once we have it set up like this, divide both sides by 4.5, and z equals 1. Okay, continuing. Um, for this one, they don't tell us exactly what this is, but they do say the whole thing is 29. So to find this length right here, we can do 29 minus 11, which comes out to 18. And now we can set up the proportion. So 16.5 over 11, P over 18. 11 P equals 297, and then P equals 27. Okay, you might be wondering, um, do you need to do the 16 over 11, or could you do 16 over P and then 11 over 18? You actually could do it that way. So if I did 16 over P, 16.5 over P equals 11 over 18, I would still get the exact same answer, um, and it would solve to the same thing. So again, as long as you set it up consistently, um, then you're good. So number 20 is where it gets a little bit tricky and where people will get stuck. Um, here it says Q and it says the whole thing is 16. To find this length, you would actually just do write it like this. 16 minus Q is this length right here, just like the shorter part. So then I can do 36 over Q equals 28 over 16 minus Q. And then solve for Q. So 28 times Q equals 36 times 16 minus Q. 36 times 16, 576 minus 36 Q plus 36 Q plus 36. We get 64 Q equals 576 and then Q solves to nine. So Q equals nine. Okay, there is one more problem we're going to do on the next page. Oh, I don't have a next page. One second. Okay, next page. Okay, so this is on page 713, the next page. Okay, so on this page we are going to do 23. This is where people often get stuck with these expressions. Um, it says find the value for x which PQ is parallel to RS. So these are parallel, meaning that we have proportionality here. So this is proportional to 5 in the same ratio that this is proportional to 7. So that's how I'm going to set it up. 2x plus 4 over 5 equals 3x plus 5 over 7. And then from here, I'm just going to use cross multiplication. How would this look? It would look like this. And then from here, distribute 15x plus 25, distribute here, 14x plus 28, and then just solve for x. And I'm going to subtract 25 here. I get x equals 3. And that's it. Okay, so that is all. If you haven't been absent and you have your entire packet filled in with all the work, um, you can go ahead and make sure your name is on it and then turn it into the Turnitin bin. Um, also, you do need to make sure that you're doing um, homework 8-4. So next, homework 8-4 on Schoology. You're going to finish Weekly Khan Academy. And if you have all that done and your note packets filled in, then turn in note packet, and then I will get it back to you early next week. Okay, well, that is it. Um, I will see you on Monday, and hope you have a good weekend.